Finally got my package in for my new mic right here. I'm gonna be opening this a little bit later in the vlog. Right now, I'm about to unpackage these ND filters for my Phantom. It's finally not raining, so I'm gonna head out as soon as this gets done charging. Test the Phantom out with the ND filters and probably make a Phantom settings video as well. I kind of sort of have to reset all of my settings on my Phantom because I don't like the way it was configured for me. I liked it at first, but I'm just noticing some inconsistencies in terms of like flying. Like I'll be trying to fly straight and then I'll veer off because of the controller configurations that I set up for myself. But I'm resetting it. I'm going all the way back to the beginning. So um, I essentially got to learn how to fly again. But let's just let's unpackage this real quick. Uh, this is from Newer. Y'all know Newer, man. They make, um, they make all the shoulder rigs and, like, all the, like, I don't want to say cheap things, but, <laughs> but they do have some, uh, some pricier products as well. I don't want to say all their stuff is cheap, but they definitely do have budget on some cool equipment. And, uh, these are the indie filters right here for me for my Phantom 3 Pro. Y'all know, like, indies go in, like, intervals of intensity. So this one had the most intensity, which I figured I might need uh, for like the super sunny days, but it also went down fairly far as well um, in terms of intensity. So I think this is a pack of around four indie filters, but I'm gonna open this up. I'll let y'all know what's up with these. And uh, I guess I can kind of sort of go over the importance of indie filters as well. So if you have no clue what indie filters are, what they do, uh, because I know for a long time, I personally did not know anything about indie filters or even felt like I needed them, but uh, they basically are like sunshades for your camera. So uh, if you ever find yourself out on a sunny day and you want to use like a super low aperture for a shot because you want to shallow depth of field, you can sometimes notice or find that having a high shutter may be a problem because you might want a smoother shot. So that's what uh, that's when ND filters come in handy. I now have an adapter on my Sony A6300, which has a built-in ND filter, which is very convenient. I can uh, get ND on all my lenses. Uh, so that won't be a problem for me. So so here's the package that the ND filters actually come in and it's nice. I wish it came in a bag though. I'm not against this though, this is pretty cool. Uh, it has four of them and these vary from ND4 all the way up to ND32, I believe. So these are tight, they just screw straight on to the Phantom. You get smooth shots, man. So like I said, let's uh, head out and test these. <laughs> So we back on the iPhone right now. I don't have my camera, and plus I want to test out this gimbal anyways. I got wheels back there in the back. We about to go shoot this music video on the iPhone, on the Smooth 3 Zion Crane, not the Zion Crane, the Zion Smooth 3 gimbal, smartphone gimbal. Y'all saw it in the vlog last time, the last vlog. Check it out if you haven't already. But yeah, we about to shoot this whole music video on the iPhone, so let's go. Chosen one to go to chat, it's only me. I always thought I'd have all my homies with me. Shit, I always thought I'd have all this money to blow. It ain't your time, yet just know your time is coming. No, hey, in the meantime, in between time. Boy, you ain't got no time to waste, you better get up and grind. My mama been on her job, been working full time. This whole game, man, let that be the last time. Alright, so that's a wrap for the music video. Me and Will just did it. No video coming to the channel soon. Yeah, we got two music videos coming soon. They ain't so. gonna believe they we shot this on the phone. Yeah, it's good. It's, it's dope. It's dope. Y'all saw a little bit of the clips just now, obviously in the vlog, but color it down. This is gonna be fire. This uh, spot right here actually just burned down. Like two days ago. Like two days ago. So, so we just jumped on it. We took the opportunity. We got out here, explored, and we got in there, and we got out. Nobody got hurt while it burned down though, so. Yeah, so. I mean, it was a financial crisis, but it wasn't a, a life-threatening one. Yeah, so we ain't, like, capitalizing off a of tragedy. I mean, kind of, <laughs> Yeah. nobody got hurt during the fire, yeah. so we good. Yeah, yeah. Yo, so glad I finally was able to shoot this music video on my iPhone. I think it turned out great. I haven't had a chance to look at the footage, really. I looked at it on my iPhone, but it looked fresh. Should be a dope video. Can't wait to bring it to y'all, but about to unbox this mic. I got a video rendering right now, so I figured I'd take this time off to unbox this. Maybe mic up, try this out, maybe have a drink. I don't drink often, but I don't got much to do tomorrow, so 
you know what I'm saying? I might just kick it, you know what I mean? Sure, but yo, this is the Road Link Filmmaker Kit, and this is the Lavalier mic system that I've been talking about that I've been needing for a while. You check the last vlog out, you know exactly what I'm talking about. This is like the wireless system for my camera mic, for my camera mic, my bad. I got this weird thing where I can't multitask. I can't like read and talk or read and do anything else at the same time. Like, I can't read and listen at the same time. Anyways, yeah, this is the wireless system uh, by Rode. I like Rode, I think they're a really great brand for like uh, mics and stuff like that. So I'm gonna get this set up. We gonna mic up and then we're gonna chat about something. Well, that was a fail because I don't have any batteries for this system. So I guess I can test this out tomorrow. We can chat. We'll chat right now, but uh, we'll we'll test this out tomorrow in some sort of project or something. I don't know. We'll have something to talk about tomorrow as well. But right now, I just want to talk about equipment and uh, how I get equipment and how I'm able to afford all the things that I have, basically. Because a lot of people ask me, yo, how can I start? Or, yo, I'm not getting paid money. How do I upgrade equipment? What should I do? You know, stuff like that. So I guess I can briefly touch on the subject of how I got equipment initially when I started this and how I was able to upgrade and how I'm at the point where I am now financially in terms of being able to basically purchase whatever I want when I need it, uh, in a sense. So when I got started doing this video work, camera work, whatever, I didn't have any money just like y'all or whoever is in the shoes of a person who does not have uh, finances to fund this. So what I did personally, I was going to school at that time. So I decided to get school loans and fund this career. First thing I went out and purchased was uh, Canon T2i. I got a Glidecam HD 2000. And uh, I got a 50 millimeter lens. I also got a 20 millimeter F 2.8 by Canon. So I got a shoulder rig. I don't know if I said that, but I got a shoulder rig as well. And a bunch of other things, you know, just little miscellaneous things like uh, memory cards, filters, all that type of stuff like that. But at the time, that's how I was funding myself. I was using school loans. So not telling you to go get school loans, but if you're in the position to do it and you need equipment or you think you need equipment, just go out and do it. But before you do that, man, just realize that you can really do things uh, with, you can do a lot with a little. Basically, that's what I'm trying to say. Really use the equipment that you do have access to. If you're watching me, I'm pretty sure you have a smartphone. A lot of these smartphones nowadays do 4K. They also do slow motion and all that type of stuff like that. So just create, man. Just create, just create. That's all I'm trying to say, just create. Uh, but if you are in a position and you feel like you should do that, I don't think it's a bad idea. I was able to uh, make the money back and you know I'm paying back loans now just because I decided to just get them as low as possible and it's a plus on me because of, it shows payment history for credit and all that type of stuff like that, but that's another subject. But I don't think it was a bad idea to get school loans and get equipment, I think it was a good idea. I'm not telling you to do it, but if you are in a position and you think that you should do it, go for it. So from initially purchasing the equipment that I got from the school loans, I was able to fund more equipment, better equipment, upgrades, all that type of stuff like that. And it's just a working process, man. You keep going, you keep going, you keep going. Uh, and so you feel like you've gotten to a place where you like the equipment that you have and you really don't need any new equipment. And that's where I am now in my career. You get to a good place financially when you find out that you don't need everything that you're thinking about buying. Back in the day, if I saw something new or I saw something that I thought I needed, I would purchase it. And now I know that's not needed at all. So that's why I am in a better space financially. Not to discredit all the work that I've put in in terms of uh, finding clientele and shooting music videos and up at my prices and YouTube and all of that. Like, not to discredit that, but the fact that I have noticed that I don't need to purchase things has really helped me financially. Basically saying you gotta say no a lot so you can be able to say yes when you need to. I know that sounds weird, but I'm gonna explain it. Don't get caught in the camera hype. What I mean by the camera hype is a lot of people go out and they purchase every single new camera because they think they need it or they see a new feature that they think they might need and they think that new feature is gonna make them more money. When in reality, it's not gonna make you any new money at all. Not saying that upgrades aren't necessary, but a lot of upgrades are not necessary. A specific case of this is me owning the GH5 and then selling it. I had some minor things that I didn't like about the GH5, but all in all, I could have made it work. It was a dope camera, it still is a dope camera, but all in all, I just didn't need the camera. I have a great camera right here that I'm using. It gets nice 4K, I like uh, the features that it has and all that type of stuff like that. I just got used to using it. So the fact that I did not need that camera, I sold it, I got my money back. When you find out that you don't need every camera, you're gonna be 
in a better space financially. You're gonna be in a better space in pretty much every aspect. Don't get caught in the camera hype. You don't need every single new camera that comes out. You don't need every single new pair of Jordans that come out. You don't need every single new car that comes out. Skip a few iPhones, skip a few new shoes, skip a few shopping trips, skip a few new cameras, skip a few new lenses, skip a few new everything. And I'm telling you, you'll be in a better space financially. And you'll be able to get the things that you really need when you need them. Say no to say yes. So me and Tino are out here about to film this Ronin video again, the one that I didn't film last time I tried because I was just messing up. But a lot of people were asking for this, how I focus with the Ronin, how I set it up, how long it takes me to set it up. So just click this info card right here when it pops up. Yo, so I got some more packages in. I feel like my vlog is becoming a freaking unboxing channel, but I just copped the Zion Crane gimbal. I probably won't do music videos on it, but I'm gonna be using this for vlogging. Uh, so the vlog should be fire. I also ordered a 10 to 18 millimeter lens, which should be coming in tomorrow as well. So get this open massive, yo. What in the world? That's crazy. Here it is. Unbox this, charge this up, and uh, hopefully we can get a quick test in this before I close this vlog out because we do have to edit this down so it goes up on time tomorrow. And I'm also going out to Seattle tomorrow to shoot music videos, so I don't have much time. And I also got a mini uh, Manfrotto tripod to put on the bottom of this in case I want to just set it down to the time black shots and stuff like that. So this should be pretty cool. The vlog should be fire. I'm excited. I can't wait to get that lens in. Get that super wide field of view. Also got a package in from the homie creative Ryan. Got some creative tees in. Pretty sure he still has some uh, wide size variety still on sale. So go check those out. Cop creative tees, real clean, simple. Hold up, hold up, hold up. So. I don't know if y'all remember my old desk setup with my big huge lens and all of that, but I'm not my big huge lens, my big huge monitor, I'm tripping. But I took my monitor off my desk, as I said in my previous vlog, I'm trying to downsize everything. I got my monitor over there on the floor just to see if I can actually get used to this. And uh, my monitor might be going on sale soon, so if you're interested in it, let me know. And uh, I got Creative Ryan right there on FaceTime. You got anything to say, bro? Yeah, y'all go count one of them teeth, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's misting out here and I can see some speckles on the land, so hopefully this isn't too bad looking, but testing out the crane right now, vlogging experience, it's pretty cool. I like it a lot, actually. Just from a little bit of time that I've been using this, I can already tell that this is a bit heavier than the uh, typical vlogging setup that I'm used to with my Gorillapod. But this is pretty cool though. It should be super smooth. And uh, being that this lens is so wide, I'm able to hold my arm closer to my core. And it isn't that much of a strain because the lens is so wide, I don't have to hold it out as far as I used to have to when I was using my Gorillapod. Let me know what y'all think though down in the comments. I like this a lot. This is cool. When I want to get my cinematic sequences, I can just whip this around. Got the gimbal, should be smooth. These vlogs should be fire from now on, man. I'm hyped. I'm gonna be heading out to Seattle tomorrow to shoot some music videos. I gotta do two out there from a homie Redhead. Should be dope videos. So I'm gonna head to the crib now, edit this vlog, then I'm gonna close this out right now. If you enjoyed this, make sure to drop me a like, comment, and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Peace.